la plume de Poudlard. Yes, I'd very much like to play Oliver Wood. <laughs> I was more than happy to play Wood, but um, I do think uh, well, that would have been very different and a little fun to play Percy. And also um, Tom Riddle, because, well, it's a great part anyway, but also at the, at the read through for the second movie for the Chamber of Secrets, um, when we had the big cast round table read through, well, square table. Um, Christian Coulson uh, hadn't been cast yet, or hadn't been confirmed yet, uh, and so David Heyman, the producer, asked me to read in, uh, and so I got to I got to play Tom Riddle uh, for one day. Uh, almost, he he um, cast me in a film when I was 13 years old, um, and. Uh, he helped me get my first agent in London and my first audition with that agent was for Harry Potter and Alan, I know, um, phoned David Heyman uh, to, uh, to recommend me. How decisive that was in the decision, I have no idea, but it can't have hurt. Yeah, it was very uncomfortable. <laughs> it, was sort of, it was very, very long days. Uh, hanging in the air, sitting on a sitting on a broomstick, um, with and of course when we're actually filming, none of the none of the amazing scenery is actually around me. I'm in a, a against a blue screen in an aircraft hangar. So yeah, that was probably the uh, the uh, most laborious um, part of making the film was was doing the Quidditch scenes. Everything, all the other scenes there were there were other actors there. There were amazing sets to look at. It was kind of more interesting. Quidditch was was quite hard work. I just heard this like five minutes ago. Yeah, Valerie yes. told me. That you're, um, yeah, uh, no, I didn't know that until now. But congratulations. Um, the best was probably probably my uh, my first scene teaching Harry the game. Um, but Quidditch is the kind of the least fun thing to do because it was just a lot of work to do and not a lot of distractions. Yeah, only once on the last film, there was a beautiful little scene during the Battle of Hogwarts that I did with uh, with Matt Lewis. Um, just just a tiny little thing, just like one or two lines, but it was really really nice. Uh, and that's the only thing I ever did, which uh, ended up not being in the films, which was a shame. But Griffin. Also, yeah. I know I, I know I'm drinking coffee from a Hufflepuff mug today, <laughs> but I am actually a Gryffindor. This is just the only mug they have. Ooh. Actually, there we go. I've got a Gryffindor water glass. <laughs> Character of Snape. Uh, a few things, but the next thing that will definitely happen, I think, is um, I do a, a series of audio dramas for Big Finish that are um, uh, with Georgia Moffat. Um, from, uh, it's a spin-off of her character from Doctor Who. It's called Jenny, the Doctor's Daughter, uh, and I play her companion. Um, and they're, uh, they're a lot of fun, and I think we're going to do more this year. I hope. We're definitely going to do more. I think it's going to be this year. Oh, I don't know. Um, my big favourite growing up was Ghostbusters, but I guess uh, I don't think they'll, uh, they'll make any more of those, or well, maybe they will, I don't know. Um, I love the Hunger Games, I really wanted to get in the Hunger Games and I didn't marry so, but you mean like that's happening just now that I can see we could? Oh. I really like Stranger Things. I don't know who cast Stranger Things. I've only seen the first one, but I loved it. Uh, I would curse Boris Johnson. 